Now let's see the next type of derivative that is swap. So swap can be said that two parties or two or more parties come to an OTC agreement that is over the counter uh, agreement where they decide to exchange the inflow of their currencies uh, under different financial instrument categories in future and they would be hedging their risk or making a profit out of it. Let me give you an example for this. Let's say there is company A and company B. Now company A is based out of India and company B is based out of let's say Australia and then there is bank A for company A and there is bank B for company B. Now both A and B would, would be needing loans from their respective banks. Let's say bank A is willing to give loan to uh, company A, uh, let's say at fixed rate of 6% and floating rate of uh, your LIBOR plus 3%. Though in case of uh, bank B giving loan to company B, they are also willing to give loan to the company B at a fixed of let's say 8% and a floating of let's say LIBOR plus 1%. Company A wants the loan at floating rate and company B once the loan at fixed rate but due to the circumstances for company A in India from bank A they're having floating rate uh, floating uh, loan at floating rate is uh, costlier than fixed and is vice versa for uh, company B in Australia they approach a bank called swap bank let's say HSBC so HSBC here will be acting as swap bank where it will facilitate the swapping of interest rate between both the companies. Let's say they say you take loan at fixed and give it to me of 6% and I'm giving you loan at LIBOR plus 2%. Similarly, to bank B, they say you take loan at LIBOR plus 1% and I am giving loan to you at a fixed rate of 7%. So in case we have this kind of agreement or establishment, we see that company A which needed loan at floating is getting a loan at LIBOR plus 2% by taking loan at fixed and giving it to swap bank and bank and company B which needed the loan at fixed is taking loan from its bank B at LIBOR plus 1% and giving it to the swap bank and swap bank is giving uh, giving the interest rate to bank uh, to company B at 7% uh, per annum. If we see this kind of establishment, see company A wanted the loan at LIBOR, it is getting at LIBOR plus 2% which is cheaper than LIBOR plus 3% uh, that would have been given by bank A to company A. Similarly, company B is also profitable since it wanted loan at fixed rate. Since the fixed rate was 8%, now the swap bank is giving it a loan at 7%. And in the meantime, Swap Bank is also making a profit because it is taking loan at 6% from Bank A and giving it to Bank, uh, so from Company A and giving it to Company B at 7%. So in this, it makes the profit of 1%. Similarly, for floating, it is taking it at LIBOR plus 1% and is giving to uh, Company A at LIBOR plus 2%. So here also, it is making 2% of profit. So without investing anything, just by facilitating uh, a particular swap of interest rate, 
uh, SoftBank is making a profit of 3%. Company A is making is able to save uh, LIBOR plus 2%, that is, uh, which is cheaper than LIBOR plus 3%. That means com company A has managed to save 1%. And similarly, company B has also managed to save uh, save one percent so all the three parties are benefited by this kind of agreement or contract this is known as swaps so let's read what is the definition here it is a derivative in which counterparties exchange certain benefit of one party's financial instrument here it is interest rate for those of the other party's financial instrument that is the different financial instrument uh, that is a different rate we have for both the parties. The benefits in question depend on the type of financial instruments involved. Here the financial instrument is interest rate. This type, the types of swaps are now we took an example for interest rate. We can have an example for other kind of swaps which can be currency, which can be a commodity, which can be equity or credit default swaps. I hope now you are clear with what is swap and in next video we are going to see what is future contract.